Welcome to our channel where we are building a 50 foot sailboat from scratch. We're a bit over a year into the build and the hull is starting to get ready to be turned over. Right now we are fairing and sanding the hull so that it will look completely smooth when she's in the water. It's not often that we leave the farm, but now we were on our way to the Swedish mountains, together with our sailing friends. This year we were going to a ski resort called Branäs, which lies around 660 kilometers from Sunhill Farm. What a lovely day. It's uh, still pretty cold. It's around uh, 15, 50 below freezing or so. Yesterday we had uh, minus 23 in the morning. <laughs> it's our second day here and uh, Vera is at the um, ski school at the moment. The slopes were perfect this early in the day, since there weren't too many people out yet. But we're here during a school holiday, and there are many families here skiing. Vera was learning more and more, but being a year older now, compared to last year, she was a bit afraid of the speed in the beginning. But then she got over the fair and said she wanted to take the lift up to the top on her own. And she also started skiing on her own in the bigger slopes.
It is so much fun that Vera can ski now, and we had a great week with our friends. Back on the farm, there was no snow in sight, and we had a work day in the garden. So we went to pick up two cubic meters of wood chips uh, this morning that we're gonna place in the paths here in the kitchen garden. I'm just preparing the ground a little bit, trying to level it out. And then I'm gonna place this fiber cloth and uh, fix that to, to the ground and then place the wood chips. So be around five centimeters of wood chips. And uh, yeah, then I'll just have to start with the no dig beds. I'm gonna place a cardboard and then some uh, small branches and leaves. And then there will be compost and last uh, like 20 centimeters, centimeters of uh, plant uh, soil. And then the fence, which we still haven't finished the fence. It was uh, a bit difficult to place out these, the poles. But it feels like spring today. So we went from really winter weather to like 10 degrees today and sun. I got some of the wood chips and cardboard out on the ground, but then it was time to go inside. So we're back home again from our week in the mountains and it's time to start building on the boat again. The week before we left for the mountains, I managed to get a full layer of fairing on, on the hull on both sides. And from the looks of it, it looks pretty good. Um, I haven't sanded on this yet. As you can see, it's still shiny. So today I will start sanding to, uh, with the power sander just to break this shiny surface before I start using the longboard. It's a lot easier once that uh, top layer is gone. I also made some uh, improvements to that uh, big disc sander that I used in uh, last week's episode. Um, and I'm waiting for some Velcro for that disc, some Velcro tape. So, yesterday was a really long day, I spent 12 hours out here sanding this side of the hull. But I managed to do the whole side, so really good progress. And I think it looks really good, like I said yesterday, I think the hull already now looks uh, pretty fair. Uh, there is obviously some low spots that I need to uh, take care of now in the second round of fairing that I will put on today. Uh, and I'll try to make the fairing and the epoxy fairing a bit more uh, runny today to make it easier to apply it 
in one go without any ridges or yeah, just more, more smooth with that long uh, flexible spatula. The plan is to just fill these uh, low spots, but I will put on a layer over the whole surface, but not so much uh, at the high spots. And if I do that in a good way, that should save me quite some time when it's time to um, sand this side again. The Velcro that I talked about yesterday for that big disc, it never arrived. I hope it will arrive tomorrow. Uh, so I can start using that big disc on the other side of the hull and that should speed things up. Uh, but it was okay using that small orbital sander yesterday just to break that uh, top layer of the epoxy, making it easier to use the longboard. Yeah, I can really feel it in my uh, shoulders, the work from yesterday. Uh, but there is really no way around that. You just have to use the longboard if you want to have a good result. Um, so not so much to complain about. I just have to get through this phase. So it's been a bit over 12 hours now since I finished with the second round of fairing on this side of the hull yesterday evening, pretty late. Um, and I think it went uh, pretty okay. The biggest uh, problem when I'm uh, trying to apply the fairing in, a, in one go from the top all the way down to the bottom without stopping is that I need to change my position. Uh, and as you can see here in the midsection, there are some small ridges in the fairing. And that's because I need to move my position. And when I'm doing that, it's really hard to keep the pressure on the spatula and the angle on the spatula exactly the same all the way down. Really doesn't matter. I just need to sand more. Um, but obviously it would have been nice to not have to sand as much. So. Um, I'm working on that technique, how I can go from all the way up there, down low in one go, keeping the same angle. And you need to have quite a lot of pressure since this uh, spatula is this long uh, to keep the, yeah, to draw all that fairing compound uh, evenly over the whole surface uh, without getting any streaks or anything in it. And then off top of that, uh, you really need to be careful to, so you don't uh, get any dirt in the, in the fairing. So I'm thinking the next time I'm uh, sanding this, I will use the guide coat to see where I have the, the low spots. And maybe I can just fill those locally so there will be a lot less uh, fairing the third uh, time around. This is not hard enough to start sanding on yet, so I will continue on the other side today to get that whole side sanded. 
so it will be another long day of sanding today. <laughs> um, and then tomorrow I will apply fairing on that side and then the day after that I can start sanding this side again. Um, I still haven't received that uh, Velcro, wide Velcro strips that I have ordered. It's delayed. Uh, but I found some other tape that I can use, some smaller Velcro tape. It's not ideal, but it will work. So let me show you that disc that I've been talking about that I've made. And I will try that today and see if that will um, speed things up. So here we have it, the new and uh, improved uh, sanding disc that I will use. Uh, it's 350 millimeters across. Uh, and I used the uh, Shaper Origin CNC cutter to cut this out. I made it from uh, some leftover styrofoam that I used for the, when I made the, the saturation table. And I have just laminated it on both sides with uh, some 600 gram fiberglass with epoxy. And it's so cool with the, when you make these uh, sandwich panels, because this core is pretty thick and that makes it really rigid and non-flexible, really strong. And that's the whole theory behind using a sandwich material. You can have a really light panel that is still very stiff and strong. Um, so I hope this will work okay. Uh, of course, this core could have been uh, much thinner, but I used what I had. Uh, and it's still pretty light and uh, balanced now. Uh, I made a mark with the CNC in the middle, so I really got uh, the spindle attachment dead center. So I think it will work okay. As you can see, the Velcro on this side isn't uh, ideal. Uh, so hopefully that will be better when I get those big strips so I can cover the whole, the whole surface here. I also found these uh, sanding papers, uh, 350 millimeters with Velcro, 80 grit, um, aluminum oxide or aluminum oxide. <laughs> uh, so it will be interesting to see uh, how this will work out, if it uh, will be beneficial. I hope so, because now I have spent some time <laughs> making this. Uh, and for those of you who didn't see the video where I used the square disc, uh, this is the machine that I'll be using. It's a polish slash angle grinder machine. Uh, it's nice to have this handle up here when you're using a big disc like this. Uh, it's on 1400 watts, so a bit on the low side for a big disc like this, but I think it will be okay. And it has a speed controller because that's really a must when you're using a big disc like this to keep the RPM down but it also has constant electronics. So you still get the strength of the, of the motor, even if the RPM is down, it will compensate for that.
Mm. Yeah, I think this side is ready now for a second layer of fairing. So the plan is to uh, do that tomorrow to fair this whole side. Um, yeah, but it's uh, pretty late now. I've been sanding a lot today. I'm pretty worn out actually. <laughs> so it's time to um, call it a night and um, yeah, continue tomorrow. So thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully this hull will look a lot more fair when you uh, watch our videos next week. Take care. Bye bye. If you enjoy our videos, we would really appreciate your support over on Patreon. And there we can stay in direct contact as well. See you next week.